After every census in Canada, the federal government has to appoint boundary commissions in each province in order to draw new electoral boundaries. What's been happening over the last several decades is that population growth in Ontario, British Columbia, and now Alberta is so much higher than it is elsewhere in the country that the constituencies in those three provinces are getting more and more populous. What that means in practice is for people in Brampton or Bramley or many areas in 905, their ridings simply have way more people than ridings elsewhere. And what that means in practice, in our view, is that they have less voting power, that 190,000 people in Bramley elect one member of parliament, uh, but it only takes 90,000 people to elect one member of parliament in some other uh, parts of the country. So the federal government is obliged to do new legislation to redraw these boundaries uh, every 10 years. Uh, we're in the process of doing that now, coming out of the 2011 census. Uh, what started three years ago was that the federal government introduced new legislation that would basically fix the problem for people in BC and Alberta, which really means the lower mainland near Vancouver and Calgary and Edmonton, but wouldn't fix it for people in Ontario, which basically means in the GTA. Uh, Premier McGuinty objected to that and eventually won the day. The federal government is now introducing new legislation that will uh, go a long way to fixing the problem for those voters in the GTA, in the Lower Mainland, in Calgary and Edmonton. What we've also found is that those voters tend to be more likely to be New Canadian, uh, come from visible minority backgrounds, come from uh, um, uh, communities uh, not from England or France or Northern Europe. So uh, in addition to voters in Ontario or the GTA uh, being underrepresented, it was explicitly particular pr people of particular ethnic backgrounds uh, newer to the country who were being underrepresented. Now we see that the federal legislation is probably going to rectify this. Uh, what that will mean is that Ontario, British Columbia, and Alberta will see more seats um, in, uh, in the next uh, election. Uh, we won't get to full representation by population in this country ever, um, in my opinion, and that's because there are a variety of constitutional guarantees that protect the, s the number of seats in the four Atlantic provinces in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. And as long as growth in the GTA in the lower man mainland in Alberta continues to be much uh, faster, uh, we're never going to be able to uh, correct that rep by pop uh, challenge, but we're getting much closer. Uh, there is one additional issue, though. As uh, new seats are added in uh, BC, Alberta, and Ontario, the question will be where those seats are, and that will be up to independent uh, electoral boundary commissions that will be appointed in each province that over 2012 and 2013 will do their work and draw new uh, electoral boundaries. We at the Mowat Center uh, think that those electoral boundaries should be drawn in a way that makes constituency size um, more equal than it is currently. Uh, even if Ontario, for example, has a lot more seats, uh, under current legislation, uh, a riding in the 905 could still have way more people than in downtown Toronto or in Kingston or Thunder Bay. We think that uh, deviation should be much smaller. Right now, you're allowed to have deviations of plus or minus 25%. So that means if you live in a province where the average riding is 100,000 people, some ridings are 125,000 people, some might be 75,000 people. We think 25% uh, is too much. Um, we think 5% or 10% should be acceptable. And that way, uh, you would have more seats in the 905, um, and you would see, um, and the lower mainland, uh, and you would see um, we think uh, closer to rep by pop and more equality of the vote and more equality of the vote between Canadians of different ethnic backgrounds, um, uh, different racial backgrounds, different uh, immigration uh, backgrounds uh, and we think that is uh, a fulfillment of the true Canadian pro uh, promise where all Canadians are equal, all Canadians uh, votes have equal say and all Canadians votes have almost an equal uh, say in determining who's going to be in government.